What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to talk to you guys about issues with the PlayStation 4 after the 6.50 update. Now a lot of you guys have actually reached out to me and said, yo Monkey Flop I can't update my PS4, my PlayStation 4 is laggy or my games are locked and I can't get into them. Today I'm going to go over some step by step guys for you guys. I'm also going to have some videos in the card above for you guys so hopefully you guys do. Uh, you know, like this video. Um, hopefully it does help you guys out. Let me know in the comments section below. Let's go ahead and get right into it because like what year are we in? How long has the PlayStation 4 been out? I'm definitely with you guys with the frustration. You know, last night we had a lot of network outages. The PlayStation Network was down for a lot of people. It wasn't a widespread thing, so I didn't make a video on it. But, you know, I did want to acknowledge that in this video here today, there, there was PlayStation Network outages last night and even this morning. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing that is a big issue is, um, you know, your games locking. And that's very important to me as well. First thing that I want to recommend is to activate your PS4 as a primary PS4. For me, it's a little hard because I have two PS4s. One's activated, one's not. If I lose network uh, connection, the PlayStation Network goes down, or, you know, my internet goes down, the PlayStation 4 that is not activated as a primary PS4 cannot verify the licenses so the games are going to lock that's what happens if you don't have an internet connection whether it being playstation's fault or your internet provider's fault your games are going to lock if it's not activated so i can't stress that enough if you have the ability to activate as a primary ps4 please do so in case of network outages next up we have a uh, playstation updates now a lot of people have reached out to me and said yo monkey flop i can't update my ps4 it's not letting me if you go into system settings and you try to update your ps4 it's not happening i have a video card uh with a video above this video with a full tutorial on how to update it from the internet to your computer to your ps4 to hopefully help you guys out with that i know that's a big issue and i know that can be very frustrating for a lot of people that are just simply trying to uh, update their PS4. Another issue is lag on their PlayStation 4. After the 6.50 update, a lot of people were experiencing game crashes and issues even with the home screen of the PS4. So, one thing that you gotta know is that with all the errors that occur on your PlayStation 4, those actually get stored in a database on your PS4. And when you have a lot of errors racked up inside the menu then it could cause your playstation 4 to lag and it can even cause some games to crash so i recommend that you guys rebuild your database if you guys need help with rebuilding your database i already created a full video tutorial which i'll have in the video card above this video as well and that's a step-by-step -step guide on how to rebuild your database uh, the correct way without losing your information without losing your games and everything else so make sure you guys go and watch that if you guys need to clear out your ps4 if you're experiencing any lag whatsoever even if it's within the home screen that's one thing that i definitely recommend and if you call sony support like some of these tips that i'm giving you sony's actually gonna try to go over them with you so if you've already done that and then let's say you call sony support you can let them know i already did that it's not working i've already gone through the whole process of that and they can escalate your issue to you know a lot of times when you call uh, sony support and you get customer support you get the lowest tier and they they may not be able to help you out and a lot of times they just have like basic information and troubleshooting steps and guides um and then if they can't help you out then they escalate you to the next uh tier and then if the next tier can't help you out then they create a ticket for you you get a ticket number and they escalate it to their engineers <laughs> trust me i've already been through this with sony support and i want to save you guys a headache of that so um hopefully some of this information has helped you out like i said unfortunately right now with the current state of the playstation 4 some of these issues may need an update to the playstation 4 system software update so we'll have to wait for sony to release a new update 
Um, hopefully that's coming in the near future because a lot of people are still having issues and like I said, I've been overwhelmed with so many uh, requests for help. <laughs> I wanted to make this video to hopefully outline and show you guys like some of the steps that you need to take. If you're still experiencing issues, let me know in those comments down below. I'll try to reply to as many comments as I can today. Um, I, I do recommend you call Sony support if there's an issue with your PS4 because of the 6.50 update, they may or may not be able to help you. Like I said, we might have to wait for a new system software update to happen. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching and the continuous support. Make sure to hit a like. Let me know, you know, I, I'm definitely frustrated because the PlayStation 4 has been out for so long. How long is, is it going to take before, you know, <laughs> I understand Sony technology is ever evolving and changing and you, you're keep, you're trying to keep up with the pace as, as much as possible, but it, it kind of seems silly that, the, you know, we have so many PlayStation Network outages, PlayStation Network is down, uh, and then with the system software update, every time there's a new one that comes out, there's always some sort of issues um, with a select number of people. Very frustrating, but I'd love to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.